capitalism, more like crapitalism, am I right? Hello, hello, I'm the Jim Stanham, and today we're going back to the hit Hearts of Iron 4 mod Red World. So I've played a lot of countries that have focused recently in this mod so far. I've played the American Republic with the Jed memes. I played the American People's Commonwealth with Bernie. I played the Great Lakes Republic with the wacky, wacky militias. But today we're going to finish off the American sort of trifecta of unifiers with the Union of American People's Republics, led by... Angela Davis. Now, the American Republic is a capitalist nation run by members of the former United States. The American People's Commonwealth is a sort of anti-Soviet alliance of socialists, but the Union of American People's Republics is flat out communist in the Soviet style. And that's what we're gonna be playing today. All right, so you can see our starting situation. We have California, most of Nevada, and we also have the coastal parts of Oregon and Washington. Uh, so we're already obviously the best American country by far. And you can see we are led by Angela Davis, who has her own little blurb if you want to read it. I'll leave it up there for a second. Okay, and you can see we follow American communism, but we're not going to be doing that for long because it's time for the 30th Party Congress. Oh yeah, so as you can see, we've got a uh, few, few issues here. Most notably, we have uh, Cascadian separatists, so those people in Oregon and Washington we're not happy about living under communism. But we've also got a really, really, really bad economy, so we're gonna have to fix that too. But people are still coming to America. People are still migrating. They must love it here. Oh, great. All of the resources of Nevada are on the other side of Nevada. Fantastic. So, the 30th Party Congress is... Hey, whoa, we're we gonna... You're gonna get me banned? All right, the 30th Party Congress is in session and they are going to start talking about the budget. So they're reorganizing the Politburo and one Kamala Harris has become the foreign minister. That's uh, scary. In the meantime, let's settle the Las Vegas question. Oh, but before we can do that, we are going to elect the new general secretary. Now we can keep Angela Davis in charge or we can go with Jarvis Tyner, who is a bit more of a a reformer in the communist movement, but today we're going with Comrade Foster. Look at that man. That man's, that's definitely John Green. That's literally just John Green. But he's not John Green, and his first act is to redevelop Las Vegas. Is what I would be saying if we didn't have all these other focuses to do. Ah yes, that's what we need. Economic dependence in the Soviet Union. Uh... Well, that's not good for the communist world order, is it? Can you just leave? Just for, can I go one game without you showing up, Putin? Please, just one game. All right, we're meeting the Soviets and we've met Chairman Vladimir Putin and they think I'm a joke. Well, they won't be laughing for long. They're gonna be laughing for a long, long time, actually. Uh, before I get started on the actual political tree, I think I'm actually gonna do the economic tree first so that I can get out of this horrible mess. More like Princess Die, Anna. Got her. Her children are grieving. I forget about this. We've got Comrade Ben Shapiro. Yes. Oh my god. Santa Claus? Not gonna build any factories in Cascadia for reasons that'll become very obvious in a few minutes. Huh. Topical. Uh, surely, surely nothing bad's gonna come of this, right? It has also reminded me that I should start moving my troops beforehand because I know what's coming. Dude burned himself alive! Jesus! You know guys, I'm just gonna be honest, beer's overrated. I don't really care about these hop farmers. Honestly, just don't drink. Alcohol's bad for you. Good, I'm glad we've violently dispersed the crowds in Portland. That's definitely not gonna backfire on us or anything. Huh. Now they've seized a whole city. That's not good. On the bright side, we've beat inflation. Warren Buffett is now in charge of the Midwest Union that's not actually in the Midwest. Good, good for you, man. Ooh, the Cascadian leaders have demanded concessions. Now, if I had Jarvis Tyner in command, we could actually come to an agreement and we could negotiate with them. But I don't have Tyner in charge, so we're just gonna kill him. And here they are. <laughs> we could also choose to just give up immediately. But, uh, no. No, we shall not. Lucky for me, I already had my troops stationed here. This will be a quick and easy fight. We'll be home by Christmas, he said, lying. You know, the only thing I know about Yakima is that one joke from Mike Carly where it sounds like someone throwing up. And it sounds pretty accurate. Okay, that was a little too easy. 
Alright, now we can focus on the real enemy. We have no materials. We have no materials. Great Lakes, give me some materials. He's back! How will I ever compete? Uh... Uh-oh. I know where that path goes and it doesn't go anywhere good. Yes! Gaddafi is dead. Can I actually send some volunteers to the con- Nope. Can't send any volunteers. Okay. Sorry, dudes. You're on your own. There we go. The economy's back. Now I can play the game. Goodbye, Texas. And nothing of value was lost. We don't need any rust phobes here. Putin forever. Yeah, I'm gonna get banned. Yeah, I wouldn't want to be Jeb right now. This bad things are gonna happen to Jeb. Oh! They've given Italy to the Pope. It's still Italy, just a little more creamy. Soviet military might in the Americas? It's exactly what we need. And we'll invite their admirals too, why not? The Middle East is a big ball of fire, and Ethiopia is in a famine. It's just like real life. Oh no, what will the lesbians ever, I mean the Lebanese ever do? Hey, the Mexico just owns this half of New Mexico. It's like the Mexican penis getting shoved into the rectum of America. What? Did I just say? Clearly America's into it if Florida's any indication. Okay, it's time for wacky thing number one. We're going down with Americanism. So basically, you know how we have all of our state names and city names after quote unquote colonial means? Well, we're getting rid of all that. We're naming all of our cities and states after communist leaders. Yay. Into the toxic waste dump, Americanist ideology shall be cast as it should have been long ago. Up the revolution of the Soviets, of the people, forever down with the past and its prejudices. And now California is Katayama, Los Angeles is Georgie Malenkov City, San Francisco is Grigory Romanov City, North Nevada is Klonsky, South Nevada with Las Vegas is Foster, Oregon is Burroughs, and Washington is Balum. Portland is Multnomah City, and Seattle's still Seattle. Neat. Oh yeah, we should settle the Vegas question. Or the Cascadian question. Let's do Cascadia first, actually. Crush the Cascadian revolts. Yeah, we did that like two years ago, dude. Ah, Huey Newton. He didn't die in this timeline. It's wholesome. <laughs> Djibouti. It's funny, because it means but. What? He didn't... He didn't take all of it. It's still, there's still a little bit left, dude. Why? Crumble, crumble, I'll fix it myself. See, Yemen has the decency to actually do what it says. And good thing wholesome Bernie Sanders is here to bring freedom and democracy to the US. And especially bring freedom and democracy down to Atlanta. Just like Sherman did. Oh my God, Jesse Ventura leads the Great Lakes Confederation. Absolutely based. And it's time. Now hold on. Bernie Sanders has declared war on Jeb Bush. It's a battle of the memes. Ah, we can return to normalcy now. The head might be mightier than the sword, but the Kalishnikov beats both. The communists are still holding on. Good for you, communists. I think you're gonna lose to the Democrats, though. Yeah, it's not looking good for Jeb right now. Alright, Las Vegas. So we can either just make it another manufacturing city, which gives some pretty nice bonuses, but... Uh, I think I'm still just gonna... I'm just gonna restore Vegas. Make it Vegas again, baby. After all, this part of the state is named after John Foster. Within Las Vegas, they'll be able to live the supposed glory days of the city under capitalism. You can return to their workmates not long after to convince them of the benefits to meeting quota. I don't know how casinos would work in a communist society, but hey, who am I to judge? And that's all she wrote for Libya, the National Salvation Government victorious. Well, they're not communists, so that sucks, but hey, that's still a pretty wholesome victory. Good job, Mohammed. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that last name, dude. Good for you, man. Perfect. New casinos in a post-capitalist society. I'm sure it'll make sense. Look at that man doing jumping jacks. When's the last time you did jumping jacks, huh? Stop this video right now and do 20 jumping jacks. Right now. Did you do them? Well, good job. I believe that you did them. Huh. How could we be building the Hyperloop? Elon Musk isn't even in the UAPR. 
There it is. The Nevada Hyperloop. It's just... I don't get it, man. I don't get the hype. Their loop. Huh? So now later Vladimir returned and announced the end of the Communist Party. That traitor! Back in business, baby! After the successful first trials of the Nevada Hyperloop and the completion of casino construction along the main boulevard, Las Vegas is formally open for business. There we go. Viva Las Vegas. And now they're on the map again, which I feel like they should probably have a new name to coincide with Foster renaming everything, but hey, what do I know? Aw, the communists lost again. Ah, it sucks. Yeah, 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 all these Las Victorias. Good job, guys. Don't care. Um. Excuse me? He's crowned himself Czar. Uh, yeah, Comic-Con's gone. Now the Warsaw Pact is led by Germany. With the Eurasian Empire. Now a judge of the Moscow Accords. We're gonna have to fix that, but first we gotta fix America. I'm sorry, Jeb. It just wasn't your day. Is Jeb still holding on? All he has left is Austin, Texas. Oh, there he goes. Good on him for fighting to the bitter end, though. Right, we've begun a tour of the Warsaw Pact. They met in Dresden, at Germany. Well, we probably don't want to go to Moscow, though. Hey, we're adding quotas. Even though we've relaxed the quotas. Don't question. Don't question his leadership. And Bernie Sanders has made the Greater American Union. That's that's probably not going to end well for me, if I'm being honest. we got to hurry up and unify. I shouldn't have wasted all that time dealing with Cascadians in Las Vegas. All right, we're making the SSRs. We lost the Soviet Union, so Foster has decided we're just going to make our own. We are. We are no longer the Union of American People's Republics. We are the Union of American Soviet Socialist Republics. Long live the UASSR. And now we can finally race to Unite America. Because Bernie's about to start. I mean, Bernie's already started. All right, it's Mormon killing time. It's so funny watching the units just melt because they have advanced motorized units and they just have regular old things. Boom. <laughs> Took no time at all. Now that I have all those resources, I don't have to worry about importing any of my goods anymore. Except for the rubber, I still need rubber. Oh, that's right. When we integrate all the states, we rename them as part of Foster's anti-Americanism policy. So now Utah's named Haywood after Big Bill. That part of Nevada's named Yazov. And this mishmash of states is called Calderwood. Arizona, you are not important enough to be independent. I'm sorry. You're just a little tiny state. In the middle of nowhere. You're just a desert. You have no right being independent, so you're going to die. There we go. Next, we kill Lincoln, and we renamed Arizona after Che Guevara. All right, Richard Spencer. Uh, consider this, like, my military punching your military in the face. Again, it's just so easy. Swedish monarchs have attempted a coup. And the Kingdom of Sweden has declared war on the Kingdom of Sweden. Sure, dude. Go, go right ahead. And in Norway as well. Okay. Well, good, good for you guys. And in Denmark! Okay. Revolutions all across Scandinavia. Okay. Alright. You're not the Midwest, therefore you shall die. Oh! The Great Lakes are part of this too. Okay. Wasn't... Wasn't expecting that. It's, it's not gonna matter though. I'm gonna crush him anyway. And Idaho has been renamed. Uh, this area of Cascadia is going to be renamed after Jack Reed. And Idaho is getting renamed after Vyacheslav Molotov. Very, very normal. Walla walla. Oh, don't tell me I'm gonna get caught in the mountains here. Oh, please push through. Okay, okay. Hold on. Stop, stop, stop. The Kingdom of Denmark is gone, so that's one of them down. Yeah, the other the other kings don't look like they're doing so well either. You know, I'm just gonna let them wear down their armies against me. That's Rebels the second down, even though they're still the Kingdom of Sweden. They just, I guess they just don't have a king. And the Kingdom of Norway is gone. All right, I have a cunning strategy to get around this mess. Wow, they've already lost over 100,000 soldiers. It's pretty good. All right, Montana, no more fascism for you. 
Okay, I wasn't sure if that was actually going to work that way. Great. Montana, you are mine. And now I can hopefully just go around the Rockies. Yep, their line spread too thin. We got this. Oh, that feels good to see all that green on the screen. Montana has been renamed as well. Named after Enver Hosha. Wyoming named after... Sure, that name. And North Dakota named after James Maurer. And Billings is renamed to a name that I don't even want to bother trying to pronounce. It would seem the drive has stalled out. Let's fix that, shall we? Uh, it would seem the drive has stalled. Oh, the Midwest Union's dead. Yay. The drive has not stalled. I have lied. All right, now let's kill the Great Lakes. Easy. That was... <laughs> that was a bit painful at first, but after cutting through Montana, easy. All right. And now we just have to worry about the big one. Scotland has broken free of England, and now there's a civil war. Well, good... Good luck, Scotland. All right. Please go well. It's going well! We could be getting some better air superiority, but by and large, we're doing well. The Great Lakes have been renamed. There's just so many different names. Minnesota's Halls, Iowa's Peters, and Wisconsin is Anake. White is nearly one, Comrade Hall. All right. Colorado, my home state, has changed to Tikas. Kansas is Kalinin. Nebraska is Shabazz, after Malcolm X. South Dakota is Luxembourg. And the East Dakota, which is the this monstrosity here, is being renamed after... Oh, it's just East Lux Luxembourg. Cool. And Illinois has been, even though they're not Illinois, Missouri has been changed to Prestes. And New Illinois, this portion of Illinois, has been changed to Winestone. And as an added bonus, Kansas City has finally been resolved. It's Kalinin City and Prestes City. Well, that didn't last very long, did it, Scotland? Bernie, I need your advance to stall for me, please. Right, it looks like it's stalling out. Good. I'll just let him whittle his forces down while I just hold the line. Uh-oh, I need more... more people. All right, things are starting to go well again. Except for that. Oh, they're still pushing. Please stop pushing. The bright side, he's lost almost double my troops. Okay, well, I can just push him right back, apparently. Sweet, until my drive stalls out and I'm screwed again. Hey, we're taking Texas. All right. I don't know why this drive is going so well now. It was doing horrible before. I love seeing that green. <laughs> That's right, Cyphers. I never built an intelligence agency because I'm an idiot. Please, I don't know what makes Michigan so uniquely horrible to fight in. Looks like we're sorting that out, though. The old Union Jack has been raised. The queen is on a mission. And I have a feeling that mission's leading them to Ireland. And I feel like at this point, the war is basically over. We pushed them to the Appalachians and we're going to push them a lot further. So great success. Yep. What I tell you, <laughs> the English are at it again. How close are they? Only 72%. We can go better. We can go higher than that. Had it, can you declared war on Gambia? But... But why? You know what? I'm not even going to question it. Good for you, queen. You go slay queen. By which I mean literally slay, you know, thousands upon thousands of people with your military. You see Sierra Leone too. Why not? Jesus, this one's been a bloody one. Almost a million of my guys and over a million of theirs. Oh, I see. We've run out of supplies pretty much. All right, hold on. We've pushed very, very far, but we've run out of materials. Okay, they're just declaring war on everybody, apparently. Yeah, we need so much more of everything than we currently have. Right, rush up the coastline. Uh, apparently the 2016 Summer Olympics are being held in Miami. I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> easy. That was not easy at all. I'm lying. I'm a liar. I'm a little, little liar. I will take that equipment though. All right, now I just gotta integrate the last of the territories and then we'll be golden. The queen is now the empress of India. Okay, I feel like you got your hands full already, Miss Lizzie. What's going on over here? That looks disgusting. Texas has been renamed after Daniel de Leon. All right, the South's been renamed, a whole bunch of names. I'm not reading all those. You can read all those if you want. <laughs> I'm moving on and the Northeast as well. The only things I will note are New York is now Lenin and Washington DC, when I find it, is now Bellamy. And now... As the fanfare began and the state anthem of the UASSR, an English adaptation of the Soviet state anthem, started to play, the new General Secretary of America looked down at his people who, like him, we're singing along in the joyous occasion that was today. General Secretary John Foster had never been destined for the role of General Secretary of the UASSR. 
Most had assumed that after his removal from the foreign ministry, Foster's political career was over. However, in a surprise twist, Foster now stands atop his rivals and has led the Union to victory over the capitalist secessionists and the revisionists in the North. Millions across the nation now celebrate as Soviet communism has been brought to America, with Foster's administration already extending a hand to the Warsaw Pact, while the Democratic League can now only watch on in horror as the once leader of the free world has been consumed with their ideological enemy. Now Foster shall begin the arduous task of reforming the nation to cement Soviet communism into the daily lives of millions of Americans. Determined to bring the revolution to his country, Foster will stop at nothing to achieve this goal, even if this means a total reconstruction of American society. America will be destroyed and rebuilt under the star of Soviet communism. So yeah, we're done it. Fun only begins because now we have foreign policy and we can demand southern lands. Uh, you know what? Let's establish the Republic of Lakota. Why not? Congratulations, Leonard. Now we can join the Warsaw Pact. So, step one of Foster's wild ride. He's demolishing the White House. America is to be rebuilt from the bottom up. All right, so now we can set the capital. And you know what? Let's put it in Portland. Sorry, it's not Portland anymore. It's Multnomah City. Meanwhile, the Queen has restored her old title. Yep, they're going after Ireland. Good luck, Ireland. Oh, well, that's interesting. Mexico has refused our demands for our territory back. Yeah, um, that was a bad decision. Die. And we have blown up Mount Rushmore. It was constructed on sacred Lakota land and was designed by a member of the KKK. With its destruction, we spit on the legacy of the man who built it. And now, we are one step closer to leaving the past behind. Excellent. Ooh. Mexico's dead. All right. Wasn't even expecting it to be that easy, if I'm being honest. All right. Now, Canada, are you going to make the same mistake? You know, I don't, I don't think the Russian delegation has a say in this anymore. I got to be honest with you. But hey, we're in the we're in the Warsaw Pact now. Nope, we're in the Moscow Accords. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, <laughs> Putin, <laughs> we're best friends forever, buddy. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> this has gone so horribly wrong. <laughs> All right, well, <laughs> we keep on keeping on. It is time for the Great American War. We will bring world revolution to the New World. We're gonna keep Mexico. Because I feel like it just looks better that way. Why well, accepts, and Alaska accepts. Excellent. Now Alaska's been renamed to Malenkov. And I have a feeling I'm going to be using up the world's supply of rubber to build my planes. So hey Canada, remember how you accepted all my demands for Hawaii and Alaska? Yeah, I'm still going to kill you. That's right, Canada has friends. <laughs> friend. Canada has one friend. Oh. It was a heist! The Paradise Hotel was robbed for unimaginable losses. Well, that's bad. Again, how does that work? We're in a communist society! Alright, goodbye Canada. And I get Australia too. Nice. Alright, that was the hard part of it done. Australia... Sure, we'll liberate you. Congratulations, Bob Britton. Canada, in the meantime, is mine. Wow! The communist regime is, uh, removing statues of the Confederacy. It's just like real life! <laughs> uh, Alright, let's liberate Central America. American intervention in Central America has never gone wrong, right? Alright, this is gonna be super duper easy. <laughs> yep, <laughs> they're already dead. Okay, moving on to Central America. We've been embargoed by the UK! How dare they! Mine. And that's another one down. Now, give me Panama. This one might actually be painful because there's so little room to move around here. Yep. Yep. Okay, let me take some of these guys away so that we can have more supply. Come on, break through. No, you want to. You're gonna have to do this the hard way. Fortunately, I've already done this before. Now we just wait 56 days and we will be good to go. In the meantime, I'll just let a hundred thousand of my people die for nothing and go we've landed okay the uk has just declared war on everybody at this point please stop you still haven't even taken out ireland yet 
Calm down. Are you really gonna go up against China too? All right, Panama's dead. Sweet. Now we can get on with it. I think we're finally out of the kill zone here. It's not going to stop the fact that we are all dying of no supply. Hmm. Might be a few too many planes at this airport. Lizzie has died. And... <laughs> uh, cursed. Just... I'm just letting them kill themselves against me at this point. I don't really care anymore. We're replacing the Statue of Liberty with Comrade Lenin. Okie dokie. Right. Give me space so that I may move. Give me the freedom of movement. I have killed half a million Colombians. Give me that port. Give me that port. Give me supply. Please, I'm begging you. I need it. Ugh, oh, I can eat! I can fight! Ugh, oh, finally! Colombia is dead. Okay, now that we're through the bottleneck, I think the rest of it's gonna just be cleaning up. Sorry, Hugo. You're communist, but I'm communister. Ecuador is next. All right, that one was just easy. Nothing remarkable about that war. That was just a war. And then we get Peru. <laughs> Kiko Fujimori is in charge of Peru. Not for long. There we go. Next, we'll take Bolivia. Again, that's just too easy. I'm really just mopping up at this point. You know what? Let's go for Chile and Argentina at the same time. Get Paraguay in on this too. You know what? Uruguay, you as well. How are we not winning in South... Oh, because all of our planes are stuck up there. Right. Okay, that makes sense. There goes Chile. I thought Paraguay would have been the first to fall, but good job, Chile. Ah, uh, the communist horde coming in from the north. There goes Argentina. Boom. We have come so far towards full communism that we are tearing down the Lincoln Memorial. All right. Sure, man. All right. And that's Paraguay. And I think we'll get Guyana next. Just so that we could save the best for last. Please. Just a crumb of supply. All right. Let's go kill. Please. This is just gonna be a nightmare. And it's entirely a nightmare of my own creation because I know I should just take these away from their thing. I just hate thinking about it. Kiana, you've been enough of a pain for me that I'm going through Brazil to get to you. Uh, this is just beautiful. India declared war on Pakistan. That's gonna end well. Speaking of ending well, I've got nuclear weapons, and Brazil has capitulated. Which means I can do something really, really funny. This... This is the price of defiance, Guyana. Ah! And it's over. And there we are. The Union of American Soviet Socialist Republics. United at last. The little independent Lakota state right here. All right, well, I was gonna go on a huge crusade to restore the Soviet Union, but apparently I'm just cool with it. Zod Putin, I got your back, buddy. But uh, I think I'm gonna leave it off here. This is probably gonna be my last Red World video, at least for a while, because I feel like I've done everything there is to do. Like, there's a Soviet tree, but it's getting reworked. Uh, the UK tree, it has a little bit of conquest stuff, uh, but it's not as much as the American nations. Italy's fun, but again, you know, it's a little conquest light, except for the Roman Empire, but I don't know. Roman LARP is not my thing. But that, <laughs> that was fun. It was a little ridiculous, but really fun. So uh, let me know in the comments if what you'd like to see me do next, and I will see you next time. Wow, the lesbians are still going at it.